the other day I was thinking about the fire giant. Mainly just his design, and also how annoying he was to fight. But then I asked myself, what would the opposite of the fire giant be? And yes, technically the opposite of a fire giant is an ice dwarf, but sadly you cannot go dwarf mode in this game. So today I present to you the ice giant build. What you will need is a cold battle hammer with chilling mist, and then a carrion regal scepter, and the spells to go with it are glenstone ice crag, zamor's ice storm, Renala's Full Moon, and Adula's Moonblade. For the armor, I would recommend the Commoner's Headband Altered, the Shaman Furs, Gold Bracelets, and the Gold Waist Wrap. If you would like to see my stats and my talismans, I'll put both on screen. Now let's go shiver some timbers. So I won't lie, I already recorded this video one time, okay? But don't worry, it, it was not because of any technical issue as to why I didn't put the first recording out. I recorded the first one with like a strength intelligence hybrid build instead of just going full intelligence and I didn't have the moon spell and then I started thinking of flame of the fell god and how the moon is kind of like the opposite of that it's not like it really matters but basically I chose to do a full int version and I'm going into this completely blind so oh 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 I'm not sure how good the damage is going to be from the hammer but the spells it hit pretty hard. I mean, Glintstone Ice Crag just did like 400 something. Not bad. <laughs> okay, 931 from the moon. I. Oh. Ow. That hurted. Good fight. All right, over 900 with the moon. I'm kind of surprised that he just ran into it like that. However, I kind of am the same way in which whenever I see somebody casting moons, maybe I just have PTSD from doing 3v3s and stuff. But anytime I see somebody casting a moon, I immediately try to just knock them out of it, even if I know I'm going to get hit by it in the process. Wait, why am I using Renala's full moon? I'm pretty sure Ronnie's does the exact same thing, but it actually does frostbite. Eh, screw it. I'll just save it for the Ronnie build. Yeah, boy. Okay, 500. Not bad. <laughs> okay, good fight, green sauce. Oh no, that's no bueno. Good fight. Quick little side tangent. I've realized that in Coliseums, I get so many repeat fights. There have been times where it's three, four times in a row, I go up against the exact same person. That's kind of why I miss Main Academy Gate. Oh, you got Chilling Mist too, let's go. But, but I kind of miss Main Academy Gate just because you could pick who you wanted to fight you know, if you wanted to fight like a like a meme build, you could search for somebody who's using a meme build. If you wanted to fight a sweat or like a certain matchup, you can. Wait, how did that hit him? That was that was very, very strange. But I don't know, I think main Academy gate kind of kept the game fun in a way, just being able to actually choose who you wanted to fight. Good fight. I take so much damage. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like I almost should have brought this on the 170 character, but... I mean, is there even anybody who fights at 170 anymore? Is that even a thing? Okay, hold on a second. Let's go see if we can find somebody at Main Academy Gate. Now, real quick, before I do anything else, we gotta make a deal. Before this recording ends, I find somebody to fight at Main Academy Gate, and you click the subscribe. All right, let's give it a whirl. No, damn bro, there's really nobody here anymore. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying as the video goes on. I promise we will get somebody, but I might as well do some invasions in the process. Oh no.
Yes. <laughs> no. Wait. Wait. What the hell? <laughs> It's like he was getting staggered by it, but then he still poked me with his spears. That was, that was strange. Wait, wait, no way. Oh my God. No Hilo Sam. Wait, no, no. I just some more my way to victory. Damn it. The hell? Hey, yeah, I think you're dead. <laughs> uh, GG's. The ice giant wins today, baby. So what do you guys think a good name is for this character? The first name that came to mind for me was Udir. It just sounds right. Where are you going? Uh, hello? Here we go, boys. We found the sly dog. What's up, boys? Let's go. Yes, sir. Hey, <laughs> sorry I had to kill your friend. Wait, no way. Oh, <gasps> yo, we got somebody. We got someone at Main Academy Gate, boys. Dude, I, dude, it actually feels good to be fighting here. I like this. Wait, why am I getting such bad frame drop? That's wild. Wait, hey, yo. Okay, hey, relax. Chill out. I had to change a setting. Good fight, though. Udir is here. You guys want to turn around? You guys want to say hello to your friend Udir? Who's not going to harm you at all? score and one some more ago baby easy i don't even know what that means but i feel like i haven't shown off freezing mist at all so i'm just gonna do that real quick night what's good oh just missed okay see we hit it there 636. <laughs> Damn it, I just wanted to meme and shoot it in his face. 
but good fight night all right let me just get straight to the point at the end of these videos i always put these builds on a scale from one to ten and for this build right here, I'm giving it a flat 8 out of 10. So the biggest drawback of this build is the short range on the hammer. However, if you land hits, you're going to be proccing frost like it's nobody's business. The damage isn't amazing because I decided to go full intelligence, but you're going to be staggering anybody who's rushing you down, so that kind of makes up for it. Freezing Mist also gives you a decent amount of hyper armor. And as for the spells, I think every single one of these spells is good in their own right. Blundstone Ice Crag for zoning. It has amazing tracking, solid damage. It can also proc Frostbite. Adula's Moonblade, if you're not familiar, has just been one of the best PvP spells for forever. Long range, shoots a projectile, can proc Frost. You can do successive attacks and change up the timings a little bit. Renala's Full Moon, if you hit it, does a boatload of damage. Just a very fun spell to use. It can also be very, very cancer in certain situations. And then Zamor's Ice Storm, I mean, if you're getting rushed down by opponents and you manage to get some distance, and they're still just blindly rushing you, charge up that bad boy and you are deleting some health bars. And most of all, I really, really love the look, even though I have no poise and no resistances, it just doesn't matter to me. The character just looks really, really cool. But hey, those are just my thoughts. Feel free to comment your thoughts on this build down below. I'm always curious to see what you guys have to say. If you enjoyed the video, press the like. And if you want to join your fellow Monkers, make sure to press that subscribe and that noti bell. Thank you so much for watching. Stay frosty, and I will see you in the next one.